what's up guys so excited today to share with you again about a wonderful scholarship which is full funded to study any department offered by azerbaijan and it has an experience of over 10 years as you can see over there and this is under ministry of foreign affairs in azerbaijan so the scholarship is already out and gonna be ending around april first the last date for application so let's get us started you can see here we're gonna go to a little much of the details plus the application so make sure you stick until the end of the video if you haven't subscribed make sure you subscribe today let's get started so can you this is the grant for citizen of member countries of organization for islamic cooperation the education grant for citizen of member country of non-aligned movement so isn't just for Muslims as you saw they are Islamic but but it's just for all of you guys and you can see you can apply to study in leading universities at preparatory courses undergraduate graduate as well as doctor or general medicine and the residence programs meaning up to PhD as well the coverage for the scholarship tuition fee international flight they will pay you a flight ticket during your beginning of your classes when you are going to join for the scholarship and when and when you graduate but also in between at the end of every academic year you are given the flight ticket to go back for holiday so you can see monthly stipend as well and medical insurance but also they pay for you for visa until registration cost i saw the cost for the visa was 20 bucks so twenty dollars, but you'll be reimbursed. You just pay, but the university will give you after you reach over there. So now it's open. Over here, there are some of the criteria which you need to go through them, including call for application, guideline for international student, and list of participating universities, and the FAQ general application form, which you're gonna be filling, but also get the instruction for submitting application form. This is most important, like the how do you submit the application form because it's differ from other scholarships you don't apply online well so make sure you stick until once we finish to talk about this important part where we'll be filling the form so let's rush to general application detail or let's go just to instructions over here so instruction on how to fill the application form you can just use your phone or you're using a laptop you edit because the application form is just like this one so you can they have given you the instruction on how you can use adobe acrobat and you can just fill the form you need the personal detail you need to upload a photo to attach a photo over there in case even if we are using wps or any editing software you can just do it you fill the form so this is the how these are the instructions on how you can fill the application form, one of the major. So back to the application form itself, this is the application form. So over here you can see we will be requested to deal with their first name and surname. We should got three names on first name, you write to your first name and middle name. And here you will attach a, po a photo and you choose this dead details of your citizenship the expiration date for the passport the home address where you are coming from and the current address where they can find you home number contact person in case of emergency they can be your parent or guardians and academic background fill here your institution you have attended so you start if you're applying for undergraduate start by filling here the year from when do you start attending and when did you graduate the institution the high school you went and the qualification, the grade you got over the subject in language of study, the language which you are teaching, and you can fill here down the, the same. If you are applying for master's, you can fill your bachelor details, professional experience in case you have. If you don't have, don't put it. And knowledge of language, which languages do you speak, you have to fill over here, and which academic profession are you applying for, if it's bachelor, master's, or general medicine, or residency as well as which subject would you like to study you write over there in which language english azerbaijan or russian priority of universities you write them over here 
and the statement of purpose to write your purpose of statement why and the references referees over here check the package over here and you sign after you finish filling here using the editing software or whatsoever which you are using if being microsoft word or being in adobe acrobat or wps after there you print it out and you sign it then you can scan it and we're going to talk about how you can submit your application form with other supporting documents one thing to note about the english proficiency test isn't mandatory so in case you just you did all your things in english you can just select english and you can start completely in english i have people who are studying in azerbaijan and yeah everything is english a hundred percent enjoying farming well list of participating universities you can see over here they have been listed over here so you might need to go to yourself on google and try to check for the list of the best universities and also make sure you choose the best cities like baku capital and much more because you need to be as somewhere where you can have also some enjoyment outside of your studies yes that's it so these are the universities once you click on the link here it will send you down to the you to the website of that particular university you might need to check on the admission criteria the courses which they are offering course under this scholarship you can apply any course any course which you want to study so that is very 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 important very very important for me yeah so after we are done over here i'm closing here let's go on the guidelines for international students which you need to consider so you can see over here the guideline for 2022 uh, for members of OIC and NM, NAM member countries. And you can see here the student rights which benefit is going to benefit from them. You might need to go through them. You can see uh, more than 10 months of each education and then according to the term of the agreement. Ask for extension of the grant for a period of one semester in case of experimenting and planned emergency situations. Guidelines here meet the minimum average point in order to get the education grant any semester. So you have to maintain, yeah. How can I get a student visa? As I was explaining, you can pay that 20 US dollars. And once you go to the your university of registration, they reimburse you, they will give you back your visa fee. And what are migration rules in Azerbaijan? I need to read over here which document should be submitted to a particular education institution in order to register should submit an application letter address it to the rector diploma six photos health certificate this you you're gonna do them after you have already you have already received admission you have already received the scholarship so these are the documents that you need to bring with your international passport healthcare once we're in Azerbaijan, that's what I mean. We will provide a student with a flight detail to, to or from Azerbaijan. You can read the accommodation, read here the details, transport system, Baki card, ba Baku metro, buses, taxi, whatsoever, railway, different emergency situations, guidelines over here, diplomatic missions, the weather also. They talk about it. These are the info that you might need to go through them because you're going to be going into this country. I wanted to say something from this main page. So once you click on a particular part, if it's general application form, it will send you that part. Which, like now we're talking about guidelines. So I just click here, the, here. This one is what it brought me on guidelines, which I'm reading with you now here. So the call for application is out now and you might need to see over here so it's a great opportunity but will provide opportunity for selected 40 candidates on annual basis to study any subject in leading leading universities you can see over here for doctoral program for system of yc and the naam for undergraduate you should not be there's age limit not be younger than 25 you should not be above like 25 years for graduate and residence you should not be more than 30 years and for doctor not more than 40 years so there is no and you can see a complete required documents you need to complete the application form copies of your diploma and transcript of pre education 
which you have attended being high school, being college, being university, copy of passport, medical certificate of good health, including negative re results for HIV and all types of hepatitis, and yeah, CV or resume and motivation letter or the letter of intent and proof of English proficiency not mandatory this family. Selection procedure, you might need to see over here. So let's go on submission of application. So the candidate must be officially nominated by respective state entities of their country, meaning should be either ministries, if it's Ministry of Education, Ministry of Foreign Affairs, who is responsible for this, these scholarships in your home country, or being embassy of your country, or to the embassy, or to... Or, or, or to the Minister of Foreign Affairs of Republic of Azerbaijan. So the deadline you can see over there. So how do you apply? After you have finished, after you have finished filling the application form and you you attach, you, you, you provide, after you finish getting the application form, which is like one page or two pages, two pages to three pages, let's say, and you got copies of your diploma and transcripts from the previous school which you have attended, be university or college. Then you attach as also a copy of passport, meaning that is extra document, also medical certificate listing diseases and the test which you have done showing that you're in good health, but also your CV, you can write it and attach it, and motivation letter you attach, so you got some document and you can put them in a in an envelope like that so now you got your all application in an envelope so where do you submit them if you are in your home country so you might need to submit to ministry of education like they used to announce on their website like when do they open the scholarship so you should submit to the ministry of educations in your home country or ministry of internal affairs in your home country or can be ministry of foreign affairs in your home country you have just to be sure which which part which part or who did it, who announces all this scholarship. So you should go and check on the website on your particular country. If you are abroad in another country, so over there you cannot use your ministry because they are back in your home country and a different foreign country. So if you are living there or standing over there, you might need to use embassy. Embassy is just representative of your home country. So you will send to the embassy of your country. If you are Tanzania, you will send to your embassy of Tanzania in that country which you are living. And that embassy is the one who will nominate you by sending your application to the embassy of Azerbaijan. And if you're in your home country, you don't have to send your application to the embassy of Azerbaijan because they won't accept it. They need applications to be proved from someone who is in charge from your country. So you have to send to a ministry. If you're in a home country, send to a ministries, and the ministry will send to the embassy of Azerbaijan or will send to Ministry of Foreign Affairs of Azerbaijan directly. You, I hope you got that because this is the most asked question and this is the most confusing part if you have bra if you have any brother or sister who are living abroad and in case you see in your country there's some you know some ah i don't know how do i do i say it but there's no straight way forward for you maybe to get to get your document to the ministry and you don't you don't believe yourself that they can take care or they can just drop your files and they take for those who are known corrupt or corruption that's what i mean you might need to use brothers and sisters who are abroad by sending them your documents maybe through an email and they can print them out and submit to the embassy of your home country the embassy of your country and embassy of our country will be the one now who will send to embassy of Azerbaijan and the both these scholarships from different embassies will be sent to, will be collected from there and be assessed by Ministry of Foreign Affairs of Azerbaijan for scholarship winning. So that's the most important thing. I hope I made it clear. Yeah, so that's it. That's it. Yeah, don't miss this wonderful opportunity. This is all about. Thank you so much for watching.
don't forget to like share and subscribe